In this video, we'll look at how to add the DX pie chart widget from the Chart.js library onto a web page. I've already created a simple web page and added a reference to the JavaScript file where I'm planning to set configuration options for the DX pie chart widget. Now I'm going to reference the Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery libraries it depends on. I'll use the NuGet way to download the required libraries into my sample. For this purpose, right-click the solution in the Solution Explorer and then click Manage NuGet Packages in the Invoked menu. Type Chart.js in the search box and then click Install. As you can see, NuGet retrieves the Chart.js library from the specified package source and installs it in the project. Since Chart.js is dependent on Globalize and jQuery packages, NuGet installs them as well. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX pie chart widget can be created using the jQuery or Knockout approach. Here I'm using the jQuery approach and creating the pie chart using the DX pie chart plugin. First, we need to set a data source for the pie chart. I've prepared an array of objects representing points to be displayed on the pie chart. Let's assign it to the chart's data source property. Now we need to define a series. I'll set the argument data source field as a field that provides arguments for the series, and the value field as a field that provides values. And that's it. Let's see how the pie chart looks with the specified data. As you can see, the pie series type is used by default. We can easily change the series type to donut by specifying the series type property. And let's see the result. If required, you can change the default size of the donut's hole by setting a required fraction of the inner radius. The next step is to make labels of the donut slices visible. I'll make label connectors visible as well. As you can see, the labels display a value displayed by a slice. Let's apply the large number format and customize the displayed text. For this purpose, I'll introduce a callback function and return the required text. And let's see the result. It would be appropriate to also show each slice's size in percentage. For this purpose, I'll enable tooltips, and introduce the customized text callback. And let's see the result. The last thing I'll change is the precision of the value displayed in the tooltips. To use a specified precision, we need to return the percent text property value. And that's it. Let's take a look at the result. In addition, when publishing a project on the server, you may wish to use a link to the Chart.js library from the Content Delivery Network. Let's copy this link from our documentation to see how it works. The customized text function, format, and precision options are available for all labels in all Chart.js widgets. For details, refer to the documentation located at devexpress.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.